uh, parents are fighting back. They have started a petition drive and they want the State Board of Education to keep their hands off JPS. JPS parents mobilizing and getting ready for a fight using an online petition to demand the state not take over the school district. No school, that district in the country that has ever been taken over, that has shown any positive movement forward. Kim Robinson helped organize the petition, which already has more than 1,300 signatures. And just making sure that we keep it our JPS. What it just depends on, is it going to be for the good of the children or the good for the state? Later this week, JPS leaders will make their case after a recent 640-page audit found the district in violation of 24 of the state's 32 accreditation standards on school safety and instructional practices. The district is already on probation. The community wouldn't have any say so over what happens in the local school district. If there is a takeover, the State Board of Education would appoint a conservator and they could remove interim superintendent Frederick Murray and also abolish JPS's current school board. You think the state taking over, would that solve the problem? I don't think so. I mean, it might, it might solve, but you know, I guess after they take over, if we could find out because I know there's a lot of problems going on right now. Opponents of a takeover say JPS has already made improvements after an initial audit found problems with safety and security. Let us fix the problems that are within the school district. We have new leadership. We're looking at uh, new principals in different high schools. Um, we have a plan to improve and we want the community to be involved in that. Petition organizers will hold a rally at MD headquarters tomorrow and they will also present those petitions. They plan to pack the hearings on Wednesday and Thursday when JPS goes before the Accreditation Commission to make its case against the state takeover. For now, we're live in the studio. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. All right, thanks a lot.